When training began earlier this summer, I weighed in at 210 pounds. Since then, intense cardio workouts, cross training, and longer distances on the road have made a measurable difference. During a recent assessment with Tyson Taylor, who is training my daughter and I for the half marathon, I weighed in at 190 pounds. Anytime, anything you're doing active, if you're burning more calories than you intake, you're going to see some weight loss. Also, my blood pressure was down considerably from the initial consultation, and each week I have increased the miles. When we started training, a long run would be four or five miles. This past weekend, I logged 14 miles without stopping. All right, Jordan, here we go. Let's get you in your chair so we can go running, okay? Okay. All right, get strapped in. And when I can, I run with Jordan and his special chair. When Jordan can't make it, it's just me and the chair. I've also noticed that I actually like running now. A lot of people say that they, they can't stand running, and once they kind of get into the swing of things, they really do enjoy it. So anything, of course, with your weight loss, uh, lower your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and just uh, overall health is the main thing. And proper stretching before and after a run also helps prevent injury. In fact, a nagging pain a few weeks ago in my left foot caused me to make some adjustments. You're always going to have bumps and bruises down the road, so one key thing is anytime you're training for any kind of marathon or long distance run, is always incorporate some kind of cross training, so that takes a lot of the stress off your joints your bones and muscles, things like that, and that will lessen your risk of uh, any kind of injury or anything. Shoes are another factor. In our next installment, we'll see how the right pair of running shoes can make a big difference. Running for Jordan, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.